You don't like that from me? There you go. Eyes away. All right, so this is Magnus here getting pampered. Magnus has been with us for about four months now. It's been a lot of fun, but there's also been a lot of challenges as well. So I thought I'd make a follow-up video to discuss some of the fun things we've done and some of the challenges we've faced. Isn't that right, Magnus? Yes, it is. So, where to begin? By rubbing these more, okay. All right, well, first of all, appearance-wise, Magnus has lost a lot of the fur he had. He was very, very furry, had an outdoor coat. He's got a little bit of it here, so you can see it's still quite thick there, but all over here, it's gone. Had some bald patches in the back, which has now grown in, and his tail is completely grown in as far as the fur. Yes, I'll keep rubbing you, Magnus, don't worry. He's doing well as far as some commands in the house, as far as leave it and sit. But he has had some issues with separation. So I'll just go over some of these things in this video. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it's of some use to you. Magnus has been starting to shed a lot in the house, losing a lot of that outdoor coat. So we decided to take him along yeah. to the kennels to give him a little bit of a haircut, a little bit of grooming a using the shedding blade or something that's known a rake. We're using a little, what's that called, the device? Using a rake to get all Magnus's excess fur off here. Creating a little cloud. It's really good to get off of him before we're taking him around there. Yeah. Shedding his outdoor coat. Good boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> That's a good boy. Magnus absolutely loves his food and will always charge the kitchen whenever there is any sounds relating to food. But it's been great to see him try new, different, and exciting and fun things. And you never know what he's going to want to eat next. Good as new. Was that good, Magnus? Did you enjoy that? Magnus is eating some cabbage. is having custard for dessert. It seems to be going down rather well as the bowl is almost finished. I'm not sure he likes it. <laughs> Thank you. 
In April, Magnus was five years old, so for his birthday he asked for a knuckle bone from the butcher. So we had to oblige. Magnus has a very strong prey drive and loves cats, but not in the right sort of way. So we also have to be on our guard when walking through the neighborhood to make sure we avoid cats as best we can. Come Magnus, let's go. Leave it, leave it. Come Magnus, come, come. Magnus, come on. And it's gone. Magnus! Wait. Wait. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. There's a cat there. Let's see if he ignores it. Magnus, come on. Come on. Come on. Magnus, leave it. Come on. Wait. Magnus, come on. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, come on. He's unsure. <laughs> come on, huh? Come on. It's alright, come on. <laughs> Come on, 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 Not all dogs are fans of Magnus. One of the biggest challenges we've faced since adopting Magnus is separation anxiety. This affects a lot of dogs. It is common in greyhounds as they're used to always having company. Many are kept in pairs while racing and they're not used to being on their own and this can be quite challenging for them. Magnus would get very upset when we'd go. There would be howling, whining, lots of panting and lots of pacing. This is very distressing for Magnus and for us. And this was something we wanted to take care of as best we could. So we looked online to try and find possible solutions to this problem. 
One suggestion we found was to leave a TV or radio on while we're gone. We tried this with Magnus, but this did not work. Another suggestion was to do coming and going training. With this training, you come and go from your house with the aim to desensitize your dog to your departures. This training was the first thing we did to try and alleviate Magnus' separation anxiety. We would put our coats on and come and go several times. The first few times Magnus would go to the door, but after about 20 times, he would stop going to the door and lie down instead. We did this day after day until Magnus was comfortable with us leaving. He would stay in his crate and not get up. I would recommend this training to anyone having this issue. When returning from being out, we would also ignore Magnus for the first few minutes to again desensitize the returns. This training does get repetitive but is worth doing and it does yield results. But this training by itself was not enough to cure Magnus of his separation anxiety. So another thing we had to do was to take Magnus for long walks to get him exercise before we'd leave. We'd take him for a walk for up to 45 minutes to an hour to tire him out. This additional walking time helped a lot to ease his anxiety and I would recommend this if you're struggling with this condition. Another part of our process to try and ease Magnus' separation anxiety is to give him something to do while we're gone. What we do for this is we give him a Kong. We've got this red one here, which is a classic Kong. We've also got one shaped like a dog bone. We fill these up with peanut butter, uh, any brand will do, but we use one that's got no sugar added to protect his teeth. We stick these, fill them up inside, put it in the freezer, and when it's done, it's frozen solid, which means it lasts a lot longer. And we give this to Magnus just before we depart for work in the morning to try and give him something to do to keep him entertained while we're gone at work until his dog walkers or his daycare arrives. Magnus does enjoy these and it does keep him entertained for a certain period of time. But this is not a solution just by itself, but it's a good addition to the other steps as well. Lastly, and most recently, one of the things I've found to help Magnus with his separation anxiety is these videos which are on YouTube, which is basically separation anxiety music. Uh, gave them a try, they seem to work quite well. Uh, they're various lengths, from an hour to eight hours in length, so you can put a couple of these on uh, while you go out, and it helps calm and ease the nerves of the dog. Uh, these work really well for us in conjunction with the uh, Kong toys, the leaving uh, and going practice and taking him for long walks before we depart. So if your dog is suffering from separation anxiety, these videos may be worth a try. Uh, they're definitely beneficial for Magnus, so I do recommend them. Now in the mornings when we leave for work, Magnus is more likely to be found in his basket sleeping than running to the front door and whining. So the training is worthwhile. We're still continuing it until Magnus is completely settled, but it is very beneficial and we're a lot happier since starting all that training. One thing about owning a dog, which is obvious, is taking it for walks. Uh, luckily we're in Edinburgh, we have all these bike paths which go through lots of the city. This is a great place to take Magnus, he can go for a little bit of smelling the bushes and getting plenty of exercise so without worrying about cars or other vehicles. So that's been great. does mean early rises, it's about 6.30 right now. Which is fine in the summertime, it's be a bit harder in the winter, I think, to get up. But he does really well out in the walks. So it's about 10 o'clock in the evening. There's me and Magnus out for his last toilet stop of the evening. So, yeah. Nice little stroll. Come on, guys. Looking for somewhere to poo. 
my way. I might see some nocturnal animals. Might we? Yeah. One of the issues we had in the last few months was Magnus getting paw injuries whilst out walking on his daily walks on the streets. The other week there, Magnus cut one of his paw pads whilst walking out on his late night walks. We noticed that Magnus was limping and when we checked his paw, we found that something had pierced his paw pad. So we took it home and cleaned out as best we could and then we took him to the vet the next day to get him looked over and checked out. The vet looked over his paw pads and cleaned it out and gave him some antibiotics and some creams for his foot. So Magnus was slightly out of commission for a few days as he was hobbling around and didn't want to put any weight on his foot. It was a little bit challenging because Magnus weighs a lot so it's hard to lift and we live in a third floor flat so going down to the garden and back and forward got a little bit challenging but we got through it. I did think this would be the only paw injury that I'd be talking about in this video, but yesterday evening there, whilst out on our late night walk, Magnus stepped in a piece of glass and it impaled in his foot, so. And Magnus is just in recovery mode right now, we've just done a little operation, we pulled this little bit of glass here, try and focus, there you go, out of his foot, one of the joys of having so he's put here and see the damage. Let's get some focus. There you go. Yeah, he was very brave. We put it in some warm salt water to soften his foot here. His little scalpel to just remove the piece of glass carefully. He's doing well. But some of the joys of dog ownership. So I think he's still walking on it so he is doing well but it's quite a big piece of glass. I think Magnus needs a dentist stick to make him feel better. Would that make you feel better? Yeah. Do we get my dentist stick? And we'll see if he's feeling better. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, here's the magic recovery from I don't feel too good to dentist sticks. Yeah. He likes to eat these in his crate. There you go. On to his towel. Well, Max is back from the vets. Take a look at his foot. Made sure it's all cleaned out. And he's got some antibiotics to take for the next few days. So he's doing well. Put some creams on his feet to make sure his paws are in good nick. We've got some Musher Secret. And we've got some You Care Skin Balm. Bang, this is quite a long expert at this these days, so I just want to rub it in these paws and make sure there's nothing else. Toward on his feet, so the vet did check him over, but I like to be thorough. It's a very good patient, aren't you, Magnus? When we first brought Magnus home, it was a real struggle getting him to climb the stairs. He learned quickly and now he's a bit of an expert. I can even do it on his own. Come on. That's a good boy. Come on, Magnus. Come on. Good boy. We want Magnus to be a happy dog, so when he's not sleeping, eating, chilling, or getting pet, we'll work on training. Good boy, Magnus. Magnus? Magnus? Where you going? Magnus? Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good sit, Magnus. Good sit. Well done. You want to your belly for you? You want side? On side? On side? On side? On your side? Come on. On side? Side? That's it. Come on side? Ah. You want to Come on side, side? That's a good boy. Your butt under the table. Your butt under the table, you know. Who that there? Who's under the table? Sit. All the way. Sit. Magnus, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Well done, Magnus. Well done. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Well done, Magnus. Well done. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Magnus, stay. Stay. Okay, Magnus, come. When we first had Magnus, he used to be very impatient, jumping up and down when we're preparing his dinner. We even had to close the kitchen door. Now he sits happily until the dinner is served. Stay. 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 Go sit. Stay. Stay. Okay, go on. Good boy, go for it, go, here you go. Here, pass it. Pass it. Um, 
for it. Come get it. Come get it. Go get it. before you've got to play outside. <laughs> then you want at least to chase it a bit. Like this. Leave it. Down. Leave it. Oh. Try again. Try again. Magnus. 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 <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. This guy's going to sleep shortly. One thing Max has had over the last few weeks is lots and lots of naps. He's also started using the dog beds that we bought for him, so it's great to see him comfortable and sleeping all over the house. Well that's it for this catch up video with Magnus, hope you enjoyed the video, if you've got any questions just stick it in the comments and I'll try and answer them as best I can, but thanks for watching and we'll see you soon for more Magnus videos.